Hi everyone, here's uh, the very basics of how to get started on Excel. So first, uh, this is the Windows machine. If you click the start button, and then uh, here you see the screen icon. This is the icon for Excel right there. Or you can find it under the list of programs, E for Excel. You might see it under M for Microsoft, but um, usually it's E for Excel. And then open it up, and you see the welcome screen. Here it is. Just Usually just click blank workbook right there. And, and here it is. Let, let me make it a little bit larger. So this, this is a, a spreadsheet. Um, now there's many types of spreadsheets made from different types of software companies. Um, but this, this is probably one of the most common ones. Um, but all spreadsheets have some similar features. First of all, you have um, rows and columns. Every row it has a number. You see one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. And every um, column has a letter A, B, C, D, E. And so each of these little rectangles are called cells. And so if you click a cell, for example, right there, that cell is uh, cell C5. Just look at the letter and the number. Um, and so this is cell C5. Um, and, and then you type in numbers. So you can type in words. Uh, you can type in like, uh, like data. And then you can type in some numbers. So let, let's say you want to do something like um, uh, enter in people's test scores or, or whatever, whatever, you, whatever it is, you just type the numbers in one by one right there. Now, if you want to do calculations, here, let me zoom this in a little bit more so you can see this better. All right, so notice here, for example, this number is 67. If you click it, um, you can see that this 67 is in cell B2 right there. So now if you want to do a calculation with it, you can go to some other cell, type an equal sign. Any kind of formula always starts with an equal sign. And then let's say you want to do uh, 67 plus 98. So then you do um, cell B2. So you just type it in B2 right there. And then plus uh, cell B3. So you just give the cell address of whatever cells you want to you're, you're interested in and then you press enter and then it just took those two cells whatever numbers in cell b2 plus whatever numbers in cell b3 and it added them together right there so once again it's equal sign and then the cell address and then whatever computation and the next cell address um and then uh and then enter now you can do other things like you can do equal sign you can take a cell uh, oh, by the way, you can also just click the cell. If you press equal and then you just click like cell B7, automatically it gives you belt cell B7 right there. And let's say you want to divide. Forward slashes divide. Let's say you want to divide whatever number is in cell B7, divide by two. So forward slash two, and it just took that number in cell B7 and it divided by two. So once again, let's click that. Okay, so equal sign B7 divided by 2. So it's a really powerful way to get a whole bunch of information uh, in, in tabular form and do all sorts of calculations with them. All right, now sometimes you want to do a calculation to an entire column all at once. For example, let's say you want to just add up all the numbers together. So you can click a cell, uh, equal sign, and then a command sum, S-U-M. There's all sorts of commands in, in Excel. Um, sum is one of the more common ones. And then parentheses, anytime you have a command, it starts with an equal sign, and then you and then it ends with parentheses, and then inside the parentheses, you put in the cell addresses of whatever this the cells are that you want to do the calculation to. So in this case, let's do B2 through B7. So you can type it in B2 colon B7, and then closing parentheses. So colon in spreadsheets means through. Um, and so B2 through B7. So what this is saying is saying, it says, do a calculation, add up all the numbers together that is in cells B2 through B7 and press enter. And it's, there it is. 430 is the, the sum of all those numbers. Um, now, one more thing, it's a good idea to label your, your answers because like, let's say you send this Excel sheet to a classmate or a colleague Someone looks at this and they're, they're not going to know what this 430 is. And so you can label it just, just with a word. No equal sign, just, just the word. So then people know, oh, okay, the sum is 430. 
couple more quick things um formatting so you can format stuff for uh, there's all sorts of options for example you click your data you can put um click the little boundary symbol you can put borders around your numbers you can do things like bold bold and underline and change colors there's all sorts of formatting and so forth you can also um uh, over here you have like dollar signs if you want to convert your your uh, numbers put dollar signs in front of them you there's there's symbols for that you can add digits uh, for example you want to add an extra digit there uh, all, all sorts of formatting uh, but all that is is just window dressing it's it's not absolutely crucial but it does make it look a little bit nicer and one last thing um this is a really nice feature this little fx right here that's called the function wizard. Um, let's click the blank sheet here. So let's say there's some command, but you don't know um, uh, exactly how it works. So you click the little FX, and then you get a list of all these different possible commands. And so you could click a category, like let's say you want um, uh, a, something like a statistical uh, command. And then you can find all the different commands that are related to statistics. So like, let's say you want to find something like, um, like the average command. So you click average and then okay. And then it, it walks you through, it tells you um, what, it gives you information about what the command does and you can just type the number straight in. So for example, number, I'll just go B2 through B7 and then click okay. And then it automatically types the command for you. Here, I'll show you what it just did. It, it automatically gives you the equal sign gives you the command and then the what it, what's supposed to go in the parentheses right there all right that's all thanks for watching